this is way too early in the bracket for this. That was technically winner's round three. Oh my god. My heart hurts. That's that was set. insane. Oh my god. And with that win, that is going to guarantee that Thanks Wallet goes on into top Ooh, 12. And he's going to be playing against Rasmu. Okay, that's going to be an interesting set right there, actually. Uh, meanwhile, in the uh, sets played off stream, we had Rasmu 2-0 over Nickel Cat. Mm -hmm. We have yet to see Kallen CPU versus Ouroboro, on, wait, and we also have Jin versus Fumu coming up. Yo, Fumu beat Helios? Fumu did my, beat my Helios. My T.O. is better than your T.O. Oh. <laughs> my T.O. will beat up your T.O. Man, <laughs> and that's interesting because Fumu... Fumu plays Blazekin, and mm -hmm. Shandies have a very not horrible time in that yeah. matchup. And okay, that one, like that I say, <laughs> T.O. Pride right here, Fumu the best, just saying. Fumu didn't, Fumu didn't give him a game either. Uh, no, that's an interesting loss. But now Fumu's going to have to play against Jin, and that's going to be a Helios, That's going to be a set. <laughs> Helios was saying in the car ride here that, you know, if he won that set, he was going to take over as T.O. for Eye of the Storm. Oh, what? <laughs> but now, nah, it's, not a, nah, now it's not a worry. Nah, dude. Okay. <laughs> okay. Looks dude. like it was all talk. Yep. Okay, we've got Ouroboro versus Talon CPU. Scizor Ooh. versus Aegislash. We get the Scizor. Let's go. Okay. Now, now a lot of people for a long time said that Scizor was just kind of eh. Mm -hmm. he, was, he was sort of mid-tier. Not bad, not great. Uh, Ouroboro thinks that after the update that uh, adjusted all of the characters, that Caesar actually got a lot of crucial things. It did, and let's see, and Ouroboro definitely being a, a pretty, really, really, really strong Caesar as a play. So, the talent now, going out of the A's, that character seems very comfortable with. Ouroboro just not respecting the space up at all right now. Oh, I am amazed by the height of that hat. Yeah, okay. I wouldn't have expected to hit by it. Okay, oh, that's gonna be a punish. Oh no, the the miss actually kept him safe. Talon is keeping himself in a really strong really position right now, but now he's against the wall, but Orbro is still only 29 HP going in right now. And he just does it! He just jumps in and grabs he just does it. players throwing back their heads and, and just kinda laughing that one off. Like, alright, alright. Oroboro accepted it. He said, alright, that's fair. I accept it. So we did kind of see Oro catch his footing a little bit near the end of that round, but he was too low for it to be comfortable still. He was charging that bug by right now. What was he thinking he was gonna do with that? I wanna know. I wanna know if going through his head like this. Alright, so now we got a little bit of reversal going on. Orbro gave himself a little bit dominant and gained that nice, nice pace to grab. Now as far as field trade goes between these two characters, I wanna think that uh, Aegis Slash probably has the advantage because his range tools seem like they're a little bit better. I can definitely see that. Range tools don't really matter when you're already up in somebody's face now, do they? That is true. Um, <laughs> the thing is that Scizor has one of the most powerful DPs in field, and that's being used right now. Hold on. It's essentially it's almost impossible to work around such as that homing. So, you have to be a little bit more distance away so you can avoid that DP. I can understand that. Oh, okay, nice. Gets. I think he tried to bail out the Union right there, and he got exactly what he wanted. He gets both the double buff, but Miss May is the best support in the game. I will fight people on that. I haven't seen this support used in a long time, Dude, but I can 100% respect meta. it in this situation. It's and, okay, Orbro is scared right now. He is not moving. Oh, he pressed. He let go the wrong time. He had been holding that block for a long time, and the instant he dropped that block, he got punished. Yeah, okay. Oh, he's going aggressive right now. Talon being a little bit careful. He was an odd choice. Like, oh, and that King Shield though. Just to just on that. He only has three seconds left to the way. He can just sit right there. Yep. Just sit. Yep. Don't don't contest right there. I believe yeah, the man. only thing that Oro could have done in that situation was land a grab. And I think both players knew Callan that, so I don't Callan think it was, was gonna happen. That. Yep, Callan was just looking for that grab. That was the only thing he could have done to win that. So alright, so Callan was a really, really strong lead right now. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know about the keyboard. It's just a, to me, that's such an off-meta pick right there. Um, like, because usually, like, the trinity of things you should be using as A-Slash are, like, Emolga, Lapras, and Mismag. So, it, it's a very interesting choice because a lot of people are looking for supports that also help deal with counties mm -hmm. and also just other things. That's and so, Cubone can stuff some things, but it doesn't break counties, which I think is really the struggle here. Yeah. So Oro getting a nice, nice lead turn right there. Oh, and just fade out that right there. Oh, Boxes causing him to go against the wall right now. 
Oh, this flash can be huge! This Keyboard's gonna trade? I, I guess? I mean, the one thing about Keyboard is that he doesn't flash projectiles. He'll just go through projectiles. So. That is entirely true. This fully charged well. counter is going to push Aegis Slash back just a little bit. Talon's being very defensive right now, but I think Warbro's getting a lot of advantage on all the swords he's getting right now. Oh. He is going to have to go back and build up the swords once more, though. Oh, that's punishable. Oh, he did. Oh, he, did. he let the other hit go. This is going to be a little scary now for Talon. Oh, that's punishable. That is punishable. He didn't go for the grab. Oh. <laughs> Okay, oh, Goro yeah. turning this around with a very clean round one in game. That, that grab was hella risky um, because if he was trying to bail out like the charge from Aegis Lash, that doesn't work because Aegis Lash is in the air, so you could have been able to grab that. So he just took a huge read and it worked. At the same time, Oro was sitting on quite a large health lead, and if he did get punished on that grab, it would not have been the end of him. And it, it still would have been left with some kind of health advantage. Um, how long that would have lasted would have really been the question. Yeah. Alright, my mistake is not mine. Everyone needs to take it. Anyways, <laughs> um, so going in here, Ouroboro, both of them actually have their full support right now. Talon is running with the speed still. Ooh, this is huge! Oh my god! Huge corner damage coming out. Ouroboro getting caught from the Shadow Sneak. That's not a situation he wants. So, so Robo is still going aggressive, even though he's in the um, losing position right now. He does have Rage on his side. Let me in again to see them. Oro opting to do what looked like 8x right there because last time he called out Cubone in that situation, Laser, Talon had jumped over and just grabbed him. That is true. Oh my god! Oh. This goes in with the 6x! I want to believe that Oro could have used first there, but perhaps it might have, it would have been stumped. I think he was looking out for the wrong thing right there. He might have been expecting like a counter, expecting Talon to be afraid of like the Hubble line. Wow, the range on that charged counter attack was enormous. Welcome to Sizzle, everyone. Okay, getting with the setup for 2x, over reset actually, opting for more damage overall. No, this is going to be a good combo coming here. See, now that was a situation in which Cubone... He's stealing the attack buff right now. Okay. Oh, I did not know that Seagor stole buff. Yes, he does. That was something that I was not aware of, and that's interesting. That's one of the big things about this matchup for Seagor, is that he can, he can steal those buffs away from Aegis Lash. So if he didn't have a combo, he can end it with Bug Bite. If he wants to, for sure. We saw Oro kind of going for an interesting reset there. It might have been from a drop combo, mm -hmm. but uh yeah, Oro in oh, so much help in that combo right there. Don't aim the sword. Ooh. Oh, no wow. way! King Shield, why? <laughs> oh my god. Ooh. Why did that have eye frame? Oro like that? did everything right! He oh. didn't do anything wrong. No, okay. Oh, oh no. My. He's taking so many risks right now. He is flustered, I can tell. With that sword in first, he does have I would be going in. He does have Keybone. Oh man, he, he must get seconds on the clock. Oh, oh no, the 6 one one oh, oh my god. Man. That is not the end for Ouroboro, though. That oh, is just no, going to put him it's into not. losers. He definitely still has to lose run to do, but Talon CPU showing off the strength of Aegislash right there. Really?